Texas, and we being striked out like three missed hits of triple X's. Time to educate for emancipation to eliminate and eradicate these hexes. It's like watching bad news on the TV. I'm trying to channel in the stress. Used to play games like pool, but had to rest the cue like a superhero in the damsel in distress. Me a failure, it don't work like damage in his desk cause I'm shutting down like a computer that's virally infest cause my wallet's looking gloomy, like it's manically depressed. That's why I got more rhymes than the lineage of Leanne cause this news I deliver, critical like C-SPAN. Cause I'm tired of them saying that we equals but them being numerated denominations it's a procedure. It's how we remain shackled but yet claim to be free as a people. I need a poncho for this reign of genocide cause it's like sitting watching a horror movie just to see who gets slain next. Cause we was gaining momentum in the 70s till economics clouded us with coke and then it rained death. The government is drenched with our blood and we can't see the stains yet. Guaranteed 40 acres in a mill, but you know, that was over a 40 year rain check. They ain't never making rain checks. It's like all the blessings we looking to hit, our windshield just bounce off like rain necks. Try to say it's good, but we take out their attempted amends too, like same sex, cause it's honestly depressing and the kid ain't even lying just to look in the sky to see another one of my brothers is dying. Try to say it's good while we remain in slaughter, but we fighting even if we get knocked up like Palin's daughter. But it's like men trapped in greed, it's like they love being in bondage. All they want to do is see loot like they paying some homage. Help him see God supply every need. He can be your hero and tell your enemy, see you later, alligator, like a drafted Tim Tebow. That's why I stay commissioned and in draft men. We should be a video game the way we pack men. And stop. How do I vibe when I see 17s in a magazine who like petroleum jelly in the sauna, vax the lean and grab the steam? Sources say it's okay, but I'm looking at the U.S. Weekly, and it's bad, but our USA Today can't see from Maine to Memphis, it looks bleakly. Kids suffering because these spouses won't work it out, just get divorces. You should be in the League Hall of Fame. You got more rings than Jordan. Many infidelities, and you still trying to be a player, man, but you neglect that you sacrifice your kids like Abraham. And see, this is what the kids are seeing and receiving as acceptable. And so they get caught up in the devil's snare, and he sees them as delectable. So I pray, Lord, every day help us, because it's like we're blind and we need our vision switch. Because I don't consider it considerate for them to label us degenerates. Been screaming for education on the TV for some time, but they still on that same sex agenda like a de degenerates. At least show it, uh, the captions on the TV, maybe we can lower illiterates. It's like we stuck in the twilight zone like science fiction fix. Young girls misled, get them to open their legs with a smile and a couple sentences, but... Girl, I'd rather meet your mind first before meeting your clitoris. I'd rather see you college-bound young man in prison with. We need prayer guidance and most of all supernatural assistance because that government assistance really been more of a hindrance. Stop looking for food stamps and start opening businesses that don't end the handcuffs and text because if success is a pickup game, then we got next. Holla. Believe none of what you read and half of what you see on Facebook. Please pay attention as we take a look. Facebook is a pretender's real life, and I hate pretenders. Fooling innocent Facebook addicts like myself and for my health, stop it. Because if I go through another one of these situations, I'm going to go crazy. And yes, I'm talking about you, baby. The one who fooled me into believing you were Halle Berry when you were nothing less than scary. I mean, if anything else could be wrong with you, I'd be surprised. And I think I saw sincerity when I looked into your eyes on your profile pic. And as I think of it... That was the only part of your face I really seen. I mean, I seen your other profile pics. You know, the ones taken from behind and sure, and I recognize that your ass look right. Or the camera zoomed in on your lower leg and shoes just to show me that your kick game and part of your calf look tight. And you did have that one picture of your face that looked like it was taken in a theater with no flash, with just the right amount of light. And I was still thinking about your ass, so I used my reasoning skills and thought, hmm, she thick, she can dress, and she hella cute in the dark, so she probably look all right at night. So when you messaged, I answered, and you thought I looked familiar from my pictures. And that picture from behind, I still remember, and I seen an opportunity to get with you, so I put in work. From messages to text, and, it seemed, and you seemed to be down for whatever, because most of them was about sex. So I figured I found a freak, and I figured that we should meet up. I up dressed, so I was waiting in the Marshall Center to see you, and two girls came through. One was utterly appalling, so I was hoping the other could be you. And she wasn't. You were the ugly one. And I don't just mean ugly, I mean disgusting. I'm talking flagrant. I mean, if I had to choose between you and Oprah's ass, I'd pick Oprah's ass, no hesitation. So that first conversation in person was pretty awkward. It started bad, but it got worse. And I never heard you speak before, and something sounded wrong, so I asked, are you a little horse? 
She said, no, my voice is fine, but I'm not stupid. She's about yay tall, fat ass, and covered in this thick brown fur. And sure, I always thought ponies would be cuter, but I'm not out of my mind. I know a little horse when I see one. And everything saying about me is telling me that she could be one. So I fast forward this conversation and rushed home and got in bed, hoping this was all a dream and I would soon snap back to reality. So I woke up the next morning and that mini horse was sleeping right beside of me. I'm opposed to sleeping with ugly girls. Never said I had a problem with bestiality. They say when music fails, world, words speak. Poetry takes flight and it begins to rain on misplaced souls, filling holes and curing sores, filling holes and Hearing songs, causing minds to open up and wonder about the unknown, making us see that life is so enjoyable that we come to the realization that life is worth it. Every minute is worth living. Even if we don't win every battle that we are given, we confess sins on paper, erasing and tip tears overpower us, writing into red ink leaks from our fingers as you linger on every word that I speak. Snap your fingers and ask me to rewind so you can catch that rhyme. I repeat it in the last piece. So you catch that rhyme, I repeat it in the last piece. I want